Hello my friends, this is Marcus Films and today I'm going to show you how can you do stop motion. I think that this is the basic way and I'm going to tell you what you need and how to do it. If you don't have any of the tools that I use to do stop motion, I will show you how can you do it without those two. Okay, let's begin. First of all, you're going to select the toys that you're going to use based on your story or whatever you're going to do. In my case, I'm choosing the Winter Soldier and Rick Flag. Then of course, you're going to choose where you're going to start shooting. In my case, I'm going to do it on this little table. And because I'm going to do my stop motion on a table, I'm going to use a chair to be comfortable. It's very important to be comfortable and to be able to move easily. Also, the light is very important for these videos. Using enough amount of light will improve the quality of the video. This is my kind of setup. I use two of these photographing lightnings on the side. You can find this on eBay or an electronic store. I always use this tripod because you can adjust the height where you're gonna be shooting. And because I'm on the table, this works perfectly. You can also find this on eBay or an electronic store. This phone holder, you can also find it on eBay or on one of those selfie sticks. There are many kind of shapes. The camera that I use is my own personal cell phone. This cell phone is 5GB of memory and I am already using 4GB so I have free 1GB. It's very important to have enough memory because stop motion pictures takes a lot of memory. In my case, I transfer what I have ready to my computer. And here it is on the tripod and on the cell phone holder. Let's talk about the app. There's many apps on the App Store and also on the Android Store that you can try on. But the one that I use is Stop Motion Studio. It's available on the App Store for Apple devices and on the Android Store. This is the free version of the app. The full version includes soundtrack, sound effects, and some other features. On the free version, you can only take the photos and add audio or text to the video. I only used it to take the pictures. Another tip is that when you are shooting, you have to touch the screen to take the picture and it may move the phone and make the picture blurry or shaky. The camera must be still and it doesn't have to move until you finish the scene. So I plug into my headphones and I press the volume button to take the picture. What I love about this app is that it has this fade effect that lets you know where was the toy before. In case that the figure fall off or accidentally you move it, you know what was the last position of the figure. So you don't have to lose the trajectory of the figure, figure movement. This is me making the Winter Soldier punching Rick Flag in the face. This is how it looks, looks pretty good. You're able to see all the pictures taken. It only takes off 29 pictures for this movement. On this move speed, it's the frames per second that you want to play on the stop motion. You can choose the speed and see which one it looks better for you. Sometimes I use 11 frames per second and it looks great. You can also add specific settings to each picture as and hold the frame or to delete it or to add audio, text and so on. This is how it looks without the light that I use. I'm only using the light of the house. If you don't have photographic light, you can shoot at one place where it's bright 
or you use the cell phone light and it will look great. Also, if you don't have a tripod, you can use a box or whatever to level the camera up and you can also use a cup to hold the camera in position, like this. I'm using this box so the camera is at the same height of these 6 inch action figures and I'm using this cup to hold on the position of the camera. You can also find these mini tripods on eBay or one of those stickbots action figures. It can hold your cell phone perfectly. You can also use this base to hold the action figure when they can stand up. And last, when you are done, you can export your videos to your photo library or directly to YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. I will make another video on how to use green screen on and also how to use After Effects. Well, see you guys later. This was Marcus Films.